before Umziwetu there was no hope at all and um, I knew that there was better out there but I had no idea where was it going to come from. I had no idea how long it was going to take. And, um, but I knew, I really knew that there was something better out there and I knew I just had to get hold of it. If it wasn't about Umziwetu, I would have sit at home until today. I'm very happy that today I'm going to be the graduated Umziwetu. I lost my mom at a very young age, um, I think it was 14 months and then also at the time when I lost my mom, my dad also decided uh, he's going to sort of disappear. When he disappeared my grandma came onto the scene and she rescued me, I like to say that she came and rescued me and she looked after me up until I was 13 and then she passed away when I was 13. Um, and I had to stay with relatives, with uncles and aunts for a short while. I had to finish my matric year and then go back to go and work for several weeks to get the money to pay for my school fees. I managed to pay my school fees um, to get my results. When I got my results, um, I started working for a short while. I worked for four months and um, after the four months I was introduced to this program. It's a holistic intervention, you know, in that um, we don't just focus on one aspect of the young person that comes um, through the program. We have a, a comprehensive program that caters to each and every need of that um, young person. The thing about Umziwetu, it's, it's really not just an organization. You know, you get organizations that are absolutely cold. There is no sense of belonging. But with Umzi Way to the situation that we have there is it's really family orientated, you know. And the meaning, you know, of course, of Umzi Way to means our home. And that statement, it's not just in words, but it's actually when you go there and the environment that they have created for the students, it is actually a home. My main role is to make them comfortable, is to make them feel that they are wanted, because some of them do not have parents, some of them are also looking after their siblings. Some of them have been living alone. They don't even know what a, a parent, to have a parent means. So I play that role of uh, creating that homely atmosphere at Umzi. Some of the things that I appreciate about Umzi and what makes them different is the fact that they equip you to such an extent that when you walk out of that environment that they've created for you, the safe environment that you've been in, when you walk out there, you can survive on your own, which means you can make the best of your life when you leave the program. I have to say the Wildness Trails was the most incredible moments of my life here at Umze, my year that I've spent here. And um, it made me realize that I can do anything that I put my mind on. Especially when you go out and you climb that mountains, it brings you back to you know, in life there is those mountains, high hills that you have to climb, stumbling blocks that comes in your way. All you have to do is making them stepping stones and it take you to a higher position in life. Graduating today is just, really, it's a pat on the back for me. You know, it's, 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 it's hope for me. Now, it says that, you know, I finally have a chance, you know, to actually make it. We have to date um, trained, graduated and placed about 177 students, you know, that's from 2006 when we started. And um, of that number, 85%, you know, has managed to stay on those jobs. We were the first group to come on board onto the program and there was no example for us before that as to what we can achieve um, after the program. And uh, on our graduation day, we just felt like, wow, we never thought that would be possible. Um, so yeah, we felt like this is one of the greatest events. It was one of the greatest moments in my life personally. Uh, and um, I've learned from there onwards that for all your hard work and for all your efforts, you will be rewarded. I've gone on to the qualifications that I've had at UMSI. Uh, I've gone on to do my FAGASA level two, and uh, I'm currently doing a diploma in uh, in nature conservation through UNISA. I, I finally got what I always wanted to be studying, yeah, to be at school. So, such an honor for me to be here. I always wanted to become a professional chef. So, 
I'll finally be one, one thing. I started off here as a food and beverage supervisor and I've been doing that for about three years. And after three years, um, I started doing reservations for, um, for Shamori Talos, which is now number five boutique out of town. And uh, I think after eight months of doing reservations, um, I started doing operations. So now I'm operations coordinator for them. And uh, so I do all sorts of things here. Yeah, a lot of things have happened for me. I can also, I support my family financially. A lot of my family are looking up to me. Actually, all of my family. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a role model to my family. The foundation that Umzi provides to these people is what we as employers are looking for. And um, the people that I've worked thus far with Umzi have shown, have shown the greatest potential, not to just better themselves in career, but better themselves as people. For me, I've grown in a way that now I know it's not just a matter of, of thinking um, about yourself only. It really has made me to be selfless. It's just turning a lot of youngsters that had absolutely no future, they're turning them into brilliant leaders. Um, they're turning them into fathers, you know, because we are a fatherless nation. So there's a lot of them sort of becoming um, more and more um, courageous in terms of running families and becoming fathers for the future and leaders for businesses and so on. The, the youth out there don't have an idol to look up to, so I would want to become that person that they would look up to and say, look, we would like to become like Lincoln one day. I have realized that I am special. I had no one at home um, telling that, me that I am special. But here I found that love, that comfort, that encouragement. What I'm currently doing is I'm studying management, uh, apart from working full time. I'm studying management and uh, my wife is also studying to be a teacher. In long term, what I would like to do, I would like to have a, a consulting company where I would sort of deal with management issues, also sort of teach managers how to become leaders within their organizations. Um, and uh, also I would like to be involved with schools, teaching teachers, for instance, how to equip learners and students to become better leaders for the future and for the society that they're living in. My life has been changed and impacted by people that have seen, um, people that have seen the potential within me and they have been willing to invest in me. So uh, we would like to do the same. To see their smiles, to hear them saying thank you, to see the change before they came here. Because when they come here, you see a, a, a student who doesn't want to talk to you, who just wants to sit there, doesn't want to bond with the group. I'll do my own thing. I don't want to listen to you. But in time, as we do our intervention, you can gradually see the change. That's what makes me come, wants to come back. It's been such an amazing, um, just an experience and it continues, it continues, so yeah.